All right, guys, we are back today. I'm gonna be upgrading the 17 inch laptop from HP. He got this thing, uh, a customer did from uh, Costco. It was on sale. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, I think he spent like 700 bucks on it. And I was like, oh, yes, that's a great deal. So he was like, but it's slower than that. So I, I look it up and I'm looking, I'm like, dang. Doesn't even have an SSD in it. it. Has an HDD. And the HDD is gonna go bad already. It's brand new, and they wouldn't take it back. And it was pinged at 100 percent. Once the computer is booted up, the computer literally is doing nothing. The processor is literally at zero, going to one zero one zero. This is Core i5 in it, all that stuff, and the the HDD is just pinged at 100 percent. That just means that this hard drive is going bad. Already just a bad batch of hard drives. Couldn't return it and I said, hey, don't worry. This thing supports an M.2 NVMe drive in it. We can put one in. So I said, hey, let's get the 980 SSD NVMe drive. Rock it out, make this computer fast. He has, uh, I think an 850 SSD in his old one. This new one is brand spanking new. Uh, way faster than this other one. This one does 3,500 megabits, so it's gonna be like six times faster than the one he had in his other computer that still works that I got him, but he got another one because he wanted one for his wife, and he wanted to take the new one, so he's gonna give his wife the old one. But we're gonna rock it out with this one. We're gonna make this one just even quicker than that one, and it's gonna be a huge upgrade, and he deserves it, so let's rock it out for him. Let's get into the disassembly. But before I do, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna run my intro. All right, guys, let's start getting this unboxed. All right. So we're gonna need the handy dandy eye fix it to driver kit. All right. Now. up. I'll put all the screws in a box. I don't like how these companies are hiding the screws under these things. It's just a pain in the butt. Bottom side. And then under here. Just giving you guys a heads up, this is the HP 17CN0053CL. What I'm gonna do, just so this stuff can restick, let me get like a color form thing. All right, I'm back. I got this over here, so I can lay those down over there without them getting dirty and nasty. Get some hair on them or something. Ridiculous. Alright, okay. What? There we go. Okay. So now, screws at the bottom. Screw at the bottom. Screws at the top. Uh, I think they would make. I hate how they have to make it take me the rubber. Like, we want to hide the screws. No, I like to see the screws. The other ones are fine, so why not show more? Why hide them unless you don't want somebody in here? But yet, you give them the option to put an SSD in your M.2, but yet, you don't even ship one with it when it's the 2022. You should have a standard, is the M.2. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. Alright, now, we will use 
And I think I'm gonna use for this one too, a flower. You guys can still see. Yep. Yeah, or rock and roll. There it comes off. And we will disconnect the battery. And the battery on the fun fun. I'm gonna actually take the battery out. So these ones and those ones, I'll put those in here for the battery. Okay. Battery, battery, battery. It's all out, is it? Yes, it is. There goes the battery. All right, so the battery is out. Now, I'm going to leave this uh, hard drive in here because I don't want to go up setting here. I already set up Windows 11 on it. And I'm going to upgrade to Windows 11 for him, and he already created his account, and this is a home computer, and I don't have him here, I don't want to have to set it all up again, it should be fine, I mean, it's a clean installation that has been done, it's just, it's just garbage, so I'll get rid of all the stuff he doesn't need, I know it's a pain in the butt, but I'm a good, good friend, and I'll just get it all out for him, so he won't have to worry, let's put his Samsung SSD in. There we go, the 980, and the M.2 slot in this is right here. That's it right there, see, that's the M.2 slot right here to here. Drive. mechanism in it. You really was going flat on that. There it is. We got the M.2 in there now. So that's going to be rocking and rolling. So now put the battery back in. I'm going to use the Samsung migration software. If it's too of a pain in the butt, if it goes too freaking slow, then I will not. But if it's not, I will do that. Where is this? 
Excellent. Making sure. Yeah, but you can tell this battery's meant for other laptops too. This one's meant for a screw hole, but nothing screws into this one. Literally nothing goes into this, and there's not even rivets around it, so it actually would have rivets underneath it for something to hold it. So this is, I guess, compatible with a lot of other computers. So when you buy a laptop, you know how the battery's like, oh, it works with these models, these models, and these models, so that's what it is. You can replace the RAM sticks, both of them in this one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, hard drives here, heat sink right here on the CPU. Yeah, that's about it, but yeah. Let's get this in, actually, you know what? Pop all the screws in. boot this sucker up and show you guys how slow this sucker is. I don't even know the password and stuff, but yeah. That's right. Well, actually, I do know the password, but I don't want to show it. But we can see that the new 980 is in there. So let me get the password. Alright. Just to show you guys how slow this is. How do you turn this one on again? Uh, oh, it is right here. It's on a key. I, don't, I haven't been charging this for a while. I've had this computer for a while. But he has the other one that I did for him, so it's still working good. He's like, no rush, no rush. You're going out of town anyways. I'm on computer. Thank you. All right. Perfect. You set them. There we go. Oh, yeah. I had to unplug with the battery. That's why. <laughs> there we go. Now we will see how long this takes. Give you guys a heads up, see? The 500 gig 980 Pro is in there. So that's the one I'm gonna have to move everything to from the terabyte to the 500 gig. That's gonna be more than enough. All right, let's get back to putting this thing back together. Sorry guys, I guess the camera lost connection there. I'm putting on the railings now. I already put the screws on. If you guys didn't miss that, sorry about that. I'm gonna put the rubber grommets on now. Make sure it's all in those nice little holes. There we go. Then I'll use the Samsung migration software and transfer the SSD over. Okay. 
And there we go. The laptop is back together. Hopefully you guys like these videos, comment, subscribe, always helps. I do these videos for you. Had to get this one done. Had to open it up, get that SSD in there. Quick and easy, fast. The only thing that sucked is the hard drive was slow. So it took a while. I had to sit for like 30, 45 minutes waiting for this thing to do some updates. For some reason I had to do after. I was like, ah, oh, can't mess with it. Can't do anything since I messed it up. It could blue screen. I have it backed up and stuff. Could corrupt the hard drive. Remember, if you hold the power button too many times and do that, you can corrupt the OS. So just remember that, even with big computers, it's okay to do it every once in a while, but if you do it repeatedly and I, um, you know, ride one time after another, like really quick, like, oh, I do it now, and I do it again, and again, and again, you're gonna corrupt the OS. Sixth, seventh time, probably, you're gonna chance you're gonna corrupt the OS. So don't fudge with it, just let it go through. And once it's done, shut it down correctly and do your stuff. But yeah. Like, comment, subscribe again. Sorry about that, but you guys have a rock and rolling day. Peace out, and the most important thing is, you and your families are having a wonderful rest of your life. Peace out.